Hello, friends in Europe and elsewhere who can't be here in the lab with us. Here is our tour of the refrigerator. And so I want to uh, make sure you have as close to an experience that the room is having. So what we have in front of us right now is constructed refrigerator, which um, uh, some Bucknell students in uh, previous years took a dorm refrigerator, the classic little uh, black or dark brown box that you've seen all over the place, and removed the box, but kept everything else intact and in fact functional. Uh, this thing is pushing 20 and it still works. It is my favorite piece of experimental. So let's uh, dive in and see what would happen. So if you were here in the lab, I would have this plugged in and uh, I would invite you to touch various parts of it and see what's going on. So I'm gonna try and get close to that experience. If you were to put your hand right here, that's your hand. Well, you probably have more fingers than that, but let's pretend you would see that this is very cold. And in fact, you might recognize this is the part that's inside the refrigerator. And it has a pipe uh, over here that I'm gonna highlight in bright green. And uh, I would probably point out to you that there's two directions of flow in this pipe. There's stuff coming in and there's stuff going out. And there's a, a small separation there actually, but there's, we have things going both ways because there's only, we only want one hole in the wall of the refrigerator. And then the rest of this stuff kind of sits outside and behind the refrigerator. And uh, my challenge to you is to take this thing and figure out where the loop is and what comes after what. So make sure you go back and you look at your diagram of refrigeration and uh, figure out what else is going on. So I'm gonna point out a couple other things to you here. Uh, this black unit is what's plugged in. It's plugged into the wall. Um, so it is powered. There is electrical work going into it uh, and it kind of makes a hum while it's working. So think about what's happening there. And if you, we're in the lab and I invited you to put, I don't know, maybe that's not a hand, maybe that's a flipper. Maybe we're all frogs now. Um, your hand on this part, you would recognize this thing is pretty hot. And you can also see by looking at it closely that it has a path that connects to it that uh, is connected to that black thing. And it also has a path that's connected to it that goes through uh, this, let's see, what's another good color? Let's use yellow, uh, this device. And uh, because it is hard to see, I'll point out to you that that path then uh, also connects up there. So let me make sure I have traced all of the paths for you. There is an in and out of this white conduit that is uh, with the uh, cold side thing, whatever the heck that is. And then uh, you can see, actually, if you look really close down here where I just put a pink box, there is a bit of piping connected to the black thing. Uh, and then there's a much smaller bit of piping connected to the, the kind of coppery colored thing. So I'm trying not to give away which direction anything is traveling. But if we look, the loop goes something like this. There's a loop of some sort up there. And it's got an in and out that goes through that white conduit. Then something uh, also goes through the compressor. Something goes through this uh, hot part, and uh, it also goes through that gold thing. So figure out what each of those bits are and uh, and ponder that, okay? And ponder which direction stuff is moving. Is stuff moving in uh, kind of clockwise or counterclockwise? Which, which order are things going in? I just wanna uh, give you some data that you might need or benefit from. Here is the stickers that are on what I will persist in calling the black thing. Okay, so there is uh, the uh, black thing. And um, I hope you figured out what unit operation it is. And you may be interested in particular
to see. I'll try blowing this up so everyone can see. Uh, the sticker here, which lists the refrigerant, how much of it there is, and the high and low pressures that this is working between. Okay. All right, this is the secret answer key. So hit pause. If you haven't figured out or tried to figure out which order things go in the refrigerator, um, and especially if you're attending class live, I don't want you to watch this until you have tried really hard to figure it out and drawn it yourself and shared it with other people. But uh, it's important that you have access to an answer. So I'm gonna make sure you have it. So this is the cold heat exchanger. That's the boiler. Uh, and this is at low pressure. Okay, so stuff comes into here as a liquid and stuff exits here as a vapor. So let's follow that vapor. The vapor goes down the pipe and the vapor, we need to increase its pressure, right? So it is what's in this pipe that's going into the compressor. Hope you got that that was the compressor. So that's the compressor. It increases the pressure. And so it comes out the other side, has a little loop-de-loop -loop there, and goes into this thing. Well, what's this side? This is the hot heat exchanger. It's the condenser. It's at high pressure. And you see it's got lots of wiggles to it, so it has lots of surface area to shed that heat to the surroundings. Uh, and so by the time you come out of there, you've got a high pressure liquid, right? That's supposed to be a saturated liquid by the time it comes out. So uh, we need one more. I only see three unit operations. This is our last unit operation, kind of buried in here. That is our valve, where the pressure is reduced suddenly. And coming out of the valve, we have a vapor liquid mix, which then travels up through here. So it's a vapor liquid mix. It's only got a little bit of vapor in it, but it has, it's mostly liquid and it comes into there and gets boiled and goes round and round. And so that is the circle of life, or at least the circle of refrigeration.